When Stellwagen Bank became a National Marine Sanctuary, it inherited a long and busy history of ocean commerce. And that has posed a growing challenge for the largest and oldest residents of Stellwagen. Some of the rarest whales in the world were dying in the shipping lanes of Boston Harbor. So port authorities, scientists, and the shipping industry together set out to save them. There's more and more cargo ships going in different directions from overseas and up and down the coastline. There's a lot of recreational uses, there's commercial uses, a lot of demand for wind power to be done out on the ocean. We now have two offshore uh, liquefied natural gas terminals off the coast of Boston. To save the whales, the first step was to determine the whales' locations, as well as the traveling routes of the ships. To determine the whales' whereabouts, the sanctuary crew employed a new device called a D-tag. A miniature computer harmlessly fastened to the whales with suction cups. The data collected from the D-tag gave scientists a new perspective of the whales' underwater world. But the D-tag allows us to get down to the bottom and see that, in fact, they are doing this sort of rolling behavior and feeding on what you're seeing here, which is the sand lands right along the bottom, um, sometimes during the day, mainly at night. When the researchers then overlaid the shipping lanes, they saw deadly collisions waiting to happen. So we decided it'd be a good idea very smart, uh, to try to move the shipping lanes from areas that whales used a lot to areas that the whales used with much less frequencies. Wiley's solution sounded good for the whales, but what about the shippers? Our initial response to the, uh, the proposed shift in the, in the traffic lanes uh, was guarded, and then uh, we had some concerns uh, for navigational safety. The Stellwagen crew and the shipping industry teamed up to find a solution everybody could live with. We reworked the data, and after about six months, we came to an agreement of what we thought would be a particular um, configuration for the shipping lanes that would give us very good conservation benefit for right whales and the other endangered whales, and also would have minimal impact upon the shipping industry. The lane was shifted north to come in a direction like this. This would represent what the new shipping lane looks like as opposed to the old one. I mean, there have not been any incidents, so. The last thing that we want to do is to, to harm one of the animals with a ship, and, and, and nobody wants to do that. The shippers don't want to do that. The pilots don't want to do that when they're on the ship. So we, we want to take the steps and we educate the, the captains and everybody involved so that that risk is, is reduced. With nearly 100% voluntary compliance from the shipping industry, Boston became the first port in the nation to change its shipping routes to protect marine mammals.